bet you any money that Charles is this nigga's father, bro. Sacrifice. Don't you talk to me about sacrifice, Charles. I had to send my son back to the island, knowing full well that... my son too, Eloise. Let's cut his dick off. That's what I would have done. Shit, if you I was Norman... <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are here once again with another reaction to Mad Men Season 3. Um, just so you guys know, throughout this reaction here, you might not hear a lot out of me this time. You must be saying hallelujah, right? He's not going to talk as much. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> um, but um, on a serious note, um, I'm having like really, really bad like back <laughs> issues right now. So I'm trying to battle it out um, and watch these reactions for y'all mainly for of course the patreon members because you guys on youtube are not going to see this for a very long time <laughs> i don't know when you guys are going to see it probably about a couple of months from now before you guys see this episode but either way i just wanted you guys to know that if you don't see much of a reaction out of me something exciting happened or, or whatever that's because i'm trying to sit as still as possible um currently i can um i'm still mobile um it's just that there's a pain like right here right there's a pain right here and it just won't go away and it's been there for um about three or four days now usually it doesn't last this long so i have to go check out to see if something is going on because it's been on and off for a little bit um you know never really paid much attention to it because i thought that maybe I pulled something somehow I don't know but now the pain has moved from like just from just my shoulder to like my neck so it's you know gonna go see somebody about it so either way still trying to get these reactions out for y'all because hey at the end of the day still gotta grind still gotta work right so if you do me a favor and don't forget to like this video because I know let's be honest you guys <laughs> yeah you know i'm saying it's very rarely that people like my Mad Men videos i'm averaging probably about out of 100 200 views on these videos and only like one or two people well not one or two but it's averaging probably around 10 likes maybe <laughs> i'm not even i'm not even sure but i know it's not it's not the amount of views i'm getting <laughs> you know what i'm saying i know that much so without no further ado let's jump into this episode and if you guys want to see more episodes of Mad Men, you know what to do man go check out the patreon support your boy you know what i'm saying let's keep growing i'll see you guys right after for the review butter and the apples are good now but not from the market i can go to rodney forms on sunday it's near church. Why don't we go to church? We go to church. On Christmas. When? Carla goes every Sunday. We don't need to go every week. When's Halloween? For Thanksgiving, Francine and Carlton have invited us, but I think if we're going to be selling Daddy's house, I don't know. It might be nice to have it there one last time. You're working too much. So hold on a second. So you would rather sell the house than to let your brother have the house? Bruh. I don't I don't care what it is. I don't care what would have ended up happening as you know what what would have taken place. I think that was I think that was kinda that was kinda wrong. It's still your brother at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? No, that's not what I mean. I just I see how hard you're working. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and the fact that oh. Carla knows you're cheating. <laughs> well, Inside. well, she cut it off, so let's give her credit. But, you know. I don't know if you're hungry, but I made date nut bread. Actually, I made three. You made date Still. nut bread? <laughs> Thanks, Miss Farrell. Mm. It's good to know. How the hell did... Wait a second. How the hell did... um? You would be surprised how fast we fall asleep after sex, honey. <laughs> this eight-year-old. Sometimes it's Charlie. like a light goes out. Do you feel bad about what you do? Nobody feels as good about what they do as you do. Mm. Sweet. It's just leaving. All the paperwork is through on your contract. It is my pleasure <laughs> to deliver your signing bonus personally. See, I don't just fire people. Will your amigo Connie Hilton be attending the anniversary party Friday? In his dressiest Stetson. Splendid. You will be speaking last. It's prime time. Please prepare. He is, he is. Darling, please sit down. No, I'm not going to let you force me to do anything anymore. Am I to entertain your ballad of dissatisfaction or has something actually happened? Because I am at work, dear. Do you have enough cash to get me to London? Because this is not my home. These things take time. Not for you. If a superior demands that you be happy, you say yes, sir, right away, sir. Well, go on, let's have it all, shall we? I have made the best of this. My salary is good, the company is flourishing. My wife has a beautiful gown. May I see it? It's not even England. That's true. All right, first of all. I've been here 10 months and no one's ever asked me where I went to school. Just a minute. Why did you answer? I'm so sorry. Can you give me a minute? Who is this? It's my brother. Get rid of him for 15 minutes. I'll run out. I want you to meet him. I don't want to ruin this. It's OK. All right. Danny, I'd like you to meet my friend Don. D are you hungry? No. Well, I should be going. Okay. Listen, I know what it looks like, but I'm not a junkie. I wish you the best. You don't even know me. He could have just stayed inside your bedroom. I wanted you two to meet. <laughs> You're my baby brother. <laughs> I'm going to get you another job. Someplace safe. Safe? Other people are the problem. Name such a place. He has fits. He needs medical help not is what's the problem really what, is hungry. he beating people up or just gets angry can i if you do it right why'd they hang up probably a wrong number people do it all the time but i could hear somebody and they heard me my goodness sally draper try not to take everything so personally she doesn't want Don to find out she's, you know, got dude. And then Don is, well, at this point, what I'm trying to say is that at this point, they might as well just have an open relationship. I'll only stay for a stop. I tried to catch you on the platform. What are you doing here? I needed to talk to you. Did you go to my house last night? No, I didn't. This is a mistake. Sit down. You said you called me. Your brother is there. I don't care about your marriage or your work or any of that. As long as I know you're with me. Apparently so. 
tonight. He'll be calm. Are you sure? Stop it. So, this woman is gonna be the death of me. You know how Betty's at home slaving away. London calling, Mr. Ford. Harold, just calling for a status report on our little party. What does that mean? Look, Lane. We've had interest in the company for some months, and this party is essential to attracting a second suitor. For what purpose? Did we reach you at a bad time? You seem foggy. Lane, Sterling Cooper is for sale. But why? We've reduced the staff and increased the revenue by 22%. I think you've answered your own question. We need this party to encourage interest. Are you quite all right, sir? <sighs> yes. Uh, These dudes you. are the worst businessmen I've ever seen, bro. Like... So they bought a company. You, you buy a company to sell them to somebody else? Like... Especially an advertising business? Like... This is absolutely ridiculous. And the funny thing about it is that... They got Don to sign. And this is exactly probably what Don was trying to avoid. It is all of these running around stuff that they've been doing. And being beholden to all of these different things. That's what he was running from. I don't even know why they sold. It's like, oh, it's a good offer, man. <sighs> I don't know how long Sterling Cooper is is, is going to be Sterling Cooper. You're getting comfy, Boy, like. What a nice surprise. I was wondering if you called my home last night. No. No, I didn't. Do you want me to call you? No. But you thought it was me. What are you laughing at? Don't make up excuses. I'm not playing a game here. Goodbye. Goodbye, Betty. With or without Jimmy. It has come to my attention that um, you're not attending the Sterling Cooper 40th anniversary. In Great Britain, we have a good deal of testimonials. And the senior members are all equally unenthused. Marks the passage of time. It's painful, I imagine. I didn't get to where I am by dwelling on the past. So, think of the future. Hmm? Enjoy the fruit of your longevity. You really pour the honey on, then you lick <laughs> it off. <laughs> well... If you care about Stanley Cooper at all, remember that My bag. your absence will make everyone think you are ill. Who told you I was vain? Please. It's obvious. <laughs> it's just money in there, right? Oh. This must have been what um old girl did for her for him. Because he's not really Don Draper, it's the other lady that's you know, was the wife of the actual Don Draper. I want you to take the children to the park. Don't come home just uh just dinner time would be perfect. Take them to the library. I'm glad to see what you. a time for Betty to find this out. Sorry again. We were gonna leave after school, and this I guy looks am like still um, here, obviously. How many times have you done this? You're a problem. That you <laughs> need to grow up. <laughs> a grown ass man, man. I think he's sick though. I'm not going to Bedford. Well, I am. So I guess you kind of have to. Why do you care? You're just going to go back and screw her. I'm not retarded. 
Julius Caesar had epilepsy. He ran Rome. Things oh. didn't turn out so well for him. I know what's waiting for me at that place. So, yeah. That's what I was thinking, that he has seizures. So, <laughs> he has seizures. Um, <laughs> that's what I was thinking, that he has um, epilepsy. I just couldn't remember where, but I know that that's what it's called. Like, epilepsy is, and he have seizures, for, like, um, you know, and is a lot of things in our environment today can that can trigger epilepsy is is you know one minute you're doing something and the next minute you could be falling out of full fraud and at the mouth is it's crazy bro i'm 25 years old don so what do you want to you want to just not do anything you can't do that hold on what i'm older than you and I'm telling you, it seems bad now, but you can still change things. I can't do anything that you can do. Everyone knows sooner or later that there's something wrong with me. They're kind and they try. But then when I come to with piss in my pants, they stare at me like I'm from another planet. I swore to myself I would try to do this right once. Do what? I want you to call me if you ever need to. You're not gonna tell her, are you? That I let you out 20 miles outside of Framingham? <laughs> Couldn't you have at least, like, let him off at a gas station or something? <laughs> I know he thought I was passing him off, but he means the world to me. He'll be as good as he can be. Don, I don't want to. Uh... It's like waiting for the confrontation. <laughs> Probably not going to happen tonight. So are you just going to let it be? I don't believe that. I understand what Betty's going through right now because she, I mean, I guess she could put two and two together to know what's going on here. But at the very same time, she can have this discussion with Don. And I'm pretty sure Don would explain to her the situation. You know what I'm saying? But, but then again, what is going to be your actions after this? Are you going <laughs> to divorce him because he... Are you going to out him for, you know, but because you found out he's not who he says he is? Like, I don't understand. Like, what are you going to get out of this at the end of the day? I'm not saying she shouldn't confront him. She absolutely should confront him about this. Right. And and knows the truth. But it doesn't change anything. You get what I'm saying? Like, outing Don doesn't change it. As a matter of fact, it would make your life harder because you're not gonna have don to take care of you anymore you get what i'm saying if they find out that don has been impersonating this dude this entire time right it's a case of stolen valor and all of this other stuff like he could go to prison there's a lot of repercussions for this in uh, on don's part and i'm not saying that justice shouldn't be said but it's not something that in my opinion, this is not something that Don deserves to go to jail for. But that's just me. I don't think there should be punishment for this. He just, he got scared and he wanted to leave the war. You know what I'm saying? Um, now we can look at him as saying he's an embarrassment to the army. Yeah, I mean, obviously. But at the same time, it's like, I can't look at this and be like, yo, this is a, he's bad. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, terrible person. Yeah, I mean, like, um, from what we know, this you're only going to make your life harder. If anything, she could probably use this as leverage to gain some power in the relationship. That's the only thing that I can see her doing and taking advantage of that. Um, or maybe this will give her the okay, if you will, to now to cheat right in his face. And, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, that would probably piss off Don. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? She, 
It is what it is. Bats, are you ready? Man, Betty is. She's the such a beautiful woman, man, but her attitude, bro. Ready, Bats? I seem surprised that there's traffic. Right now. There's always traffic. Calm yourself. We'll arrive when we arrive. They're selling the company. What? They're selling Sterling Cooper. He'll go to the highest bidder. I know you hate uncertainty, but take comfort in the fact that we'll return to England. Bert Cooper and my father, Roger Sterling Sr., bravely set this in motion 40 years ago. And now let me introduce the man who will stand alongside me for the next 40 years and friend. And friend. Donald Draper. Really? <laughs> Pouring it on a little thick there, buddy. Damn, she looking at him like, you bastard. I don't even know who you are. <laughs> but anyways, um, this was a good episode, man. Um, Betty finding out that Don is not who he says he is. As I said, there's no real reason for Betty to mess up her own life. You know what I'm saying? Um, it doesn't make any sense for her to go out there right now trying to mess this up or to out Don about who he is and whatever. I think she's going to use this as a power play if she ever confronts him about it. I think she's going to use it as a power play against him. Um, for her to probably do stuff and he's not be able to do anything about it I think more than likely that's where she go or she can go the other route as well as to just out him and Then you get nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying cuz um, Essentially, yeah, I'm saying maybe she could divorce him and get you know money for that But it doesn't really make any sense for you to out him. You can have that conversation right with him and he can explain why he did what he did but at the end of the day it's like you know Betty doesn't have anything to gain from this you know what I'm saying other than maybe some power he's like oh I know the truth of who you are you want me to tell somebody you know what I'm saying so other than that I don't see why she would jeopardize her lifestyle for outing Don you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't see it, but this episode, of course, we know the situation with Don is, and that's why I don't think at the end of this series, they're going to be together. I'm just being honest. Um, you know, I just don't see them together. I think maybe like, maybe like in season six, season seven, they might get divorced or something like that. Because at this point, I don't, there's not anything between them anymore you know what i'm saying the, the love and the trust is completely broken between these two there's nothing to that can be repaired here in my opinion there's you know what i mean like i don't see anything here that could be that can be repaired to the fact with, where they would come together and be good other than them coming together and say let's stay together for the kids when the kids are out of the house which is another 18 to 20 years. You know what I'm saying? Um, other than that, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, I don't see the benefit of her, of, um, of her outing Don. But other than that as well, like, I don't see them staying together for very much longer. But it is what it is. Um, them selling the company is another thing as well like these yo freaking what's his name what's his name dude that set all of this in motion for the company man brought the offer to them because he thought he was going to be creative director or at least over everybody and he didn't get he didn't get it you know and this all started with all of that and instead of them trusting Don and, you know, Don has always been wise about these things. Let's take the whole family aspect away for a second. Pretty much all the decisions that I've seen Don make business wise has worked 
as worked out before the merger and stuff before they got bought up pretty much everything that he did he's a great talent to have you know what i'm saying he told him not to take not to go after american right they refused they didn't get american right which i thought you know what i'm saying it was cool that they went after this like oh it's the chase the excitement of the chase but yeah now you just lost a long time client that probably would have gotten bigger who knows it's, i mean it was a small airline but at the same time it was an airline that was bringing in money right so you lost that account to go after the big fish you know what i'm saying and that's cool sometimes you win sometimes you lose right but i believe strongly when it comes on to clientele that loyalty should play some part when it comes on to doing business with people i don't think it should be the ultimate decision but i think some percentage should be there when it comes on to loyalty to your clientele you can't just drop them for bigger accounts i don't i don't believe in that kind of business you know what i'm saying some people might say oh it's a cutthroat you know what i'm saying they would drop you in a second to get a better ad agency no more than likely a lot of clientele if you're doing what you're supposed to do and they're increasing in profit every year it's very hard for those companies to go somewhere else and do the things that you're doing for them it's very hard for them to switch up like that very hard it's easier for ad agencies to drop clients than clients are able to drop ad agencies i'm telling you that from experience not necessarily in the ad agency but from having business people as clients you get what i'm saying like it's not it's not cut and dry like that you know what i'm saying like it's it, it's not cut and dry like that like loyalty plays a lot into it because when people trust you you know what i'm saying with your business sometimes you get included and become as close as family to these people you get what i'm saying because you're providing a service but at the same time they understand that you're providing the service for other people but at the same time it's like they make you feel like family and they invite you into their home a lot of times as well you know what i'm saying um so it's like when you break that trust man it's very hard you know what i'm saying especially if those people are influential they can tell people about their experience with you and you know what i'm saying f up your business you don't want that to happen so you know i was against that plan but they went ahead and they did it blah 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 you know what i mean but you know a lot of things that have gone against don in this series is really not because of his decisions it's because of other people's decisions you know and maybe you can call it karma for don maybe because you know what i'm saying he stole dude's identity blah 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 could be karma could be his comeuppance whatever the situation is it's crazy it's crazy how you know how we think about you know personal things versus business you know what i'm saying like for me a lot of times when you see issues brought up in society about certain things you know people don't think on the business side of things i'll give you guys an example when it comes on to like youtube right a lot of people say youtube is suppressing a lot of things mind you they are right but it's all business and a lot of people don't look at it from that standpoint because they're only thinking about how they're being treated and how they feel about the situation right well youtube don't necessarily care about your feelings because they got to make money and guess what a lot of the stuff that we do is not advertiser friendly this is not i repeat youtube is not a free speech platform and i've said that multiple times it's like whatever policies they change we gotta adhere to the rules if we want to continue to make money on this platform it's as simple as that it is not a free speech free speech platform right you have to understand when we go to work i'll bring it down to even the lowest level possible if you're an entry-level employee can you just go there and just say whatever you want to to your supervisor or your boss you can't so guess what it's the same thing applies here we're at the mercy of 
a Susan from YouTube. You know what I'm saying? We're at their mercy of the policies that they set up for us to adhere by. When you get a job that pays you money, right? And you may look at it and say, oh, you know, I'm trying to run a business on YouTube. Well, guess what? Somebody has to manage that business of yours. YouTube manages that business. They say they can't do this. You have to adhere to those rules or leave, go to another platform. Don't make videos saying YouTube is trying to suppress you because at the end of the day it's like, for me, I've complained about this in the past, right? I've complained about it. I didn't like what they did to my original channel, but at the end of the day, even I was in that position. I was in that position and I complained and I was like, when I actually sat down and I thought about it, I was like, you know what? When you look at this from a business point of view, there's nothing that I can do about this because at the end of the day, me and YouTube is in business because they're, they are putting advertisements on my videos. They're making money off of it. Fine. But they pay me do it. It's not that much, but they, they are paying me. So I'm like an employee of YouTube. You get what I'm saying? Even though it's an independent business, you know what I'm saying? It's a, it is what it is, right? And we have to look at it from that standpoint, but most people don't look at things from that standpoint, right? So a lot of times you have people that don't mix. They don't think about things on the business side, right? So you will have that aspect of it. And you also have the personal aspect of it, right? Um, and people tend to kind of separate the two, but I tend to look at both sides because I've done business. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's, it's a dog eat dog world out there. A lot of times don't get me wrong, but the way I, I operate in my business and stuff like that, I've always believed in a certain level of loyalty, especially if you have clientele, you get what I'm saying? Like if I'm doing business with somebody and we've been doing business for a while, and we trust each other with making more money together. I'm not gonna drop that person just at the drop of a hat to go work with somebody else. Does that have bigger caliber? You get what I'm saying? Even if the opportunity door is wide open, you get what I'm saying? It's like, we gotta figure out a way to make this work with all three of us, if so be. You get what I'm saying? Sometimes it's not worth going after the big fish and leaving the little fish behind. It's sometimes it's just not worth it. It's the end of the day, if you don't end up getting that big fish, now you're left with a man down. Now, some people can say, okay, I can bear to lose that little fish, right? You can bear it, cool. If you can do that, fine. But I still believe that loyalty should have some sort of um, play into that. Sometimes we are too greedy. Sometimes we are too greedy, man. Sometimes we got to hold it down and be like, you know what? We making enough money now. I don't need to go after a big fish, but it is what it is, right? So hopefully Betty decides to confront Don so we can see how that plays out. But I don't think she stands to gain anything other than a little bit of power, a little bit of leverage in the relationship that she's always, she's trying to gain and she's thinking, she's thinking, you know what I mean? Um, Don, of course, lying his off, eyes, ass off, you know what I mean? Crazy, crazy, crazy thing. So what if the thing about it is this, right? What if Hilton calls your house when you're out at like three o'clock in the morning and be like, Don is not with me. Where is he? You know what I'm saying? Like, what if that happens? What are you going to do here, Don? Uh, he's playing a dangerous game. You know, you, you already know, I don't like Don and his sescapades that he be on and cheating on Betty. Cause I believe that Betty is trying to hold it down. You know what I'm saying? Cause she, she's had a couple of opportunities to cheat and you know what I'm saying? She stopped herself. She did cheat. I mean, let's, let's keep it a buck. She did cheat. You know what I'm saying? She did cheat and she cheated when she was pregnant. And also she cheated when she kissed dude. You know what I'm saying? Kissing is cheating. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Cheating, it, it might be mild cheating if you want to put it in categories like that, but it is cheated nonetheless. Uh, but anyways, I'm looking forward to seeing what they're going to do next, man. Mad Men is fire. 
I'll see you guys next time. Peace.